Yes, people, hope everyone's good. It's your boy, Severe Prod. I just wanted to start off and say Happy New Year. I hope you guys are setting goals, working hard to achieve them. But yo, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to cook up evil New York drill beats for K Flock in FL Studio. This one's going to be lit, as always. Make sure you stay tuned. And if you're new around here and you like this type of content, what are you guys doing, man? Come and join the family, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell as well. Anyway, enough talking. Come and join me on my screen, and let's get straight into the damn severe that's crazy welcome to the video like I say today we're going for a dark new york droby and it's definitely going to be suited to artists like k flock this one's going to be lit as always i'm going to be giving you guys some real nice tips and tricks especially when it comes to the drums but let's waste no time we're going to jump straight into this one you know the vibe i've cut up three melodies off camera what we're going to do i'm going to run through these melodies one by one and i'll show you what we're working with for the first melody we actually jumped into nexus and i went over to the piano section and we end up grabbing this nexus grand piano preset for the effects, real simple. I've got an EQ taking out some lows and highs. I dipped a few of the low mids and raised a few of the mids. And I've also got this vintage Valhalla reverb with the mix turn out around 29%. Within the actual preset, I've actually raised the attack up a little bit as well. For this beat, we're working in 142 BPM and I'm over in C sharp minor. This is the pattern that we came up with. For the second melody, we actually jumped into Omnisphere and I went over and grabbed the Choir Woman's R's preset. For the effects, once again, I've got an EQ taking out some lows and highs, raising a few of the mids. I've got a Vintage Valhalla Reverb, this time with the mix turned down to around 25%. And I've also got this Fruity Delay 3 as well. Real basic pattern, this is what we've got for that one. For the final melody, we actually jumped into Keyzone Classic. This is a free piano VST and it's actually real clean sounding as well. So if you haven't already, I'd definitely go and check this one out. And we went over and grabbed the Yamaha Grand Piano preset. For the effects on this one, I've got a half time. I've got an EQ taking out some lows and highs, dipping a few of the mids. And I've got another vintage Valhalla reverb. This time I've got the mix turned down to around 39%. For this melody, I started with some real simple bass notes. And I went higher up in the octaves and added in a preggio pattern as well. This is the pattern that we've got for that one. And for the final pattern, I don't usually do this, but I actually jumped straight in and added an 808 as well, just to get the bounce going straight off the bat. I wanted a real gritty sound in 808, something that hits real hard, so this is the pattern that we came up with. Sounding nice, now this is all the patterns that we've got played together. Oh, that is sounding hard. What we're going to do now, I'm just going to start layering in some drums. So first off, I'm going to start with a hi-hat. You know the vibe. We're going straight into the Viper MIDI kit as well. I'm just going to speed this one up a little bit. That's sounding clean. What we're going to do now, I'm just going to start adding in some percussion. So I'm going to grab a few snares, a few perks, and we're just going to get the bounce going. So let's see what we can come up with. Thank you. 
So I've got a nice little bit of percussion on the go. I've kept it fairly simple. I've got a few different main snares hitting and we've actually got quite a few different perks and snares filling up certain pockets as well. What this does is just fills up some of the empty spaces in the beat and basically it just adds to the bounce even more. So this is the pattern that we have so far. Oh, that is sounding nasty. What we're going to do now, I'm just going to add in a kick and we're going to make the 808 punch a little bit harder. Oh, that is sounding clean. What we're going to do now, I'm just going to right click the pattern, split by channel, and we're going to go ahead. I'm going to rearrange this into a full beat. So we've got a nice little bit of structure on the go. I've got a few different effects out of my kit. And what this does is just lets the listener know that there's something new about to come in at the end of the bar. We've also got these beat cutouts here and there as well. This just adds to the tension of the beat and basically it just stops the track sounding so repetitive as it goes on. And finally, I've added in my tag in there too. And I think that pretty much tops it off for this one. So I think all that's left to do now is just have a quick listen. Severe pride. Hey, <laughs> nice little breakdown. And then straight back in. Hey, this one is sounding lit. I'm liking the sound of this one. Okay, guys, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you're feeling the beat as well. I'm going to go ahead, finish off mixing and mastering this beat now. But if you haven't already, make sure you follow my Instagram at SevereProd to keep update with all the upcoming videos and giveaways that have coming out soon. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.